Oh good, a one-up. <laughs> I'll need those. This is one of those games that will give you a lot of one-ups and then after, you, w once you actually need them, then it'll be like, nope, nope, you're good. Did you keep the ones you got early on? Well, no, I ain't. Eh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Rystar. Oof, and right off the bat, we get hit. <laughs> Taking damage. Yeah, gotta right be careful. There's fireballs attacking you from the background. I just noticed, are those like little honeycombs? Yeah, the the platforms in this game, I mean, on Planet Scorch, are very hexagon. Yeah, they just like the even like the little drippies. Yep. <laughs> Where you and, just count. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was counting the angles. Is like, it a hexagon? It is a hexagon, right? Yep. But no, this is where the game starts to uh, <laughs> heat up. Ugh. It starts getting pretty difficult. I feel like I haven't made it past this level. Uh, you really... made it to the boss. I was gonna say, I, I don't recall. remember. It's been a very long time since I tried to play. But I also was playing it on the Wii. That's true. It's not that much different control-wise. Okay. If you hold the controller correctly. <laughs> you know. Quite right, quite right. So I did look it up, and um, there were actually two Rystar games. Oh. But the other Rystar game is not a sequel, it's just a port with a few differences. Okay. So Rystar was also released onto the Sega Game Gear, and the Sega Ge Game Gear was a Sega's Game Boy. I was going to say, I don't even know it what was, that is. It was a portable console <laughs> that didn't do that well, it didn't last long, but um, Sega made quite a few games and Rystar was one of them and because the Game Gear wasn't as powerful as the Genesis they reworked some of the levels. Oh, okay. So a few of the levels are different on the Game Gear version than this version. And I don't think we'll ever play the Game Gear version unless it's through emulation yeah, or I was gonna say, well, <laughs> another release because I don't have a means to record portable games. Like, yeah. it was by the grace of God that I was able to play Partners in Time on right. the Wii U. Because that is a portable game. <laughs> I like, I, I think that that's a really cool idea is to have a way to put it on the big screen. Especially now that, like, handheld games aren't really a thing anymore. No, no, like the it. Switch has kind of like merged them. The yeah. other companies aren't really going after the mobile Whereas, mar that market yeah, because, because it's owned I mean, by phones. Yeah. It has transformed like, into why, phones. Why have like a mobile game unit when you can literally play on Which is why my heart sinks when like a new game in a series player, happens, like, yeah. <coughs> Echo of Mana, and it's a, it's a cell phone game, and I'm like, the hell wants this? Yeah. Or if I'm going through, and this was the straw that broke the camel's back, I was going through the Kingdom Hearts franchise, and like the latest entry was a cell phone game. And yeah. I said, "Kiss my ass." I like. I think that cell phone games like, to me feel like they're just like casual. All the, all the information for the future of the series. Yeah. So I'm just like, well, I was already very bitter towards this series for the past few games, and this one just sealed the deal. Yeah, I, like I said, I feel like cell phone games are like casual. Like you're on the bus and. There we you go. Just, like, open I don't up. think that was the way the I was jewel. supposed to sur solve that bonus game, but uh, yeah, well. I definitely didn't play that bonus. Game. <laughs> I would have remembered those big scary spikes. Yeah, it's hard to accomplish the bonus game, so I'm not seeking out all of them. Just if I come across one, I will try to complete it. Yeah. But my goal here is to just finish the game. <laughs> just beat the game. Beat the game without crying. Well. <laughs> For the most part, I'm able to pull that Have off. Have I actually, like, played a game where I didn't cry yet? Pokemon Snap? Yeah, okay. <laughs> you have yet to I cry. I mean, uh, there's still time. There's still time, exactly, but no, you have yet to cry. Alright, this is probably one of my least favorite parts of the game. You have to oh, find, like, yeah. the marching... Marching? The matching segment. So, at first, they'll give you a number. And that's cool, but you also gotta grab them and not hit another one by accident and like this screws me up so hard because it's like okay the numbers aren't there so you got to memorize the pattern like this there we go First you do this and then you do this and pelvic thrust but see i did it wrong Woo! so the fire's like eh. Woo! step on your right foot don't forget it <laughs> also i gotta say i love the idle animations in this game like in Planet Scores, if you just wait for a while, 
he'll fan he'll fan himself be like yeah Whoo! it's hot yeah, this is ridiculous so like all i'm doing is like trying to grab the right enemy and i hit the other one and that counts as a hit oh uh. boulder dash Puppy calls. what is this nonsense i say all right so we just gotta try it again and it gets faster as you go around. I think you have to com clear it three times. Mm. And then you're able to do it. So yeah, not all of the mini-bosses are mini-bosses. Some of them are puzzles or objectives that you have to accomplish to proceed. Most of the mini-bosses I find a bit more annoying than the actual bosses of the game. Minus the final one. Minus that <laughs> troll. Yeah, that troll of a final boss. Oh, we'll get to him. <sighs> Don't you worry. Oh, he'll have his. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> Squidward! Squidward! All right, here we go. That one. And they, I can't tell nice. if they're just like little slimes. I think they're like little, like, robots. Okay. It was between slimes or little octopus. Okay. Octopi. Octopi, yes. Octopods. I believe that would be the proper pronunciation. Alright, so here we go. I kinda like octopods better. Oh yeah? Not that I have a say in pronunciation, <laughs> but... It's our channel, we can pronounce it the way we... We established how we want to pronounce Rystar. Yeah. We can do the same with octopods. It's octopods from now on. Yeah, like we're gonna keep up with that. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll forget by the time this video is done. We'll forget by the next part. There's no consistency. Like my Bowser voice. <laughs> <laughs> I had like three different Bowser voices in the Origami King playthrough. Whoops. Well, all of my voices turn out to be Olivia, so. Yep. Which was originally supposed to be Peach. Yeah. So when Peach finally came back, I was like, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do I do here? So Peach was Olivia, but a little deeper. Yeah. Just one <laughs> octave <Like>. lower. <laughs> yeah. If you're a popcorn connoisseur, you'd pick up on that. <laughs> you'd understand that tiny little Easter egg. We slid in there just for you. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of shooting around here. Oh good, a one-up. <laughs> I'll need those. This is one of those games that will give you a lot of one-ups, and then after you, w once you actually need them, then it'll be like, nope, nope, you're good. Did you keep the ones you got early on? Well, no, I ain't. Huh? Oh, Jesus, come on. Wrong. Oh, good, help. Huh. Oh, good. I won't you die a okay? fiery death. Yet. I like this. Use the pulley. There we go. Oh, oh. And then position yourself just right to dodge the blue fire. These are blue flaming balls of fire. <laughs> Up. Yep. Whee! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Boing! Okay. Alright. Oh. oh, those oh. guys suck. So they'll fire from below and then they'll flip over and fire from above. Those guys, you just want to dodge because they'll destroy the frickin' floor. <laughs> Detonate the entire platform around <laughs> hey, you. The floor is lava. Basically. That's basically what this level turns into, is a game of the floor is lava. Oh, crap. Oh. I wanted to grab that. There we go. You pulled a me. Yep. See, see that's like the one thing about platformers that makes me extremely nervous is like what? you'll have to jump or like fall and you can't see what's below yeah some games if you so crouch like, it moves the camera yeah. below so you can see it but so not all like, games have that chance feature you could be like jumping into the abyss yeah it's called a leap of faith yeah all right so i believe this is the boss that you got up to i'm not sure if you ever beat him or not but it's a giant armored mole Oh, yeah, I do remember him. And you can either smack him from underside or grab onto his claws, run up there and, well... <laughs> Give him a good whack. Try to whack him. I didn't quite do it that well. Give him a little whack-a-doodle. Whack-a-mole. <laughs> ah! And then after you do enough hits, 
You'll the, fall down the hole. Yeah, the floor is gonna give away, and you have to fight him down the chasm. Kind of reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Yeah. <laughs> Gandalf fighting the Balrog falling down the chasm. <laughs> its power is beyond any of you. That's Run! Like, that's like a meme that I really enjoy. It's like you've scrolled so far, you've reached Balrog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, well, yeah. <laughs> I haven't scrolled for a while. Enters the minds of Moria, Balrog, and I took that personally. I know! <laughs> All right, let's do better this time. So when he digs under, he's always gonna appear in the center of the arena. Here we oh, go. here goes the floor. Okay. Goodbye, floor. And he's gonna swoop in from the side and diagonally try to like clip you. And he goes very fast, so you gotta be accurate. Oof. All you gotta do is grab him with your stretchy arms. Come on, stretchy e arms! Yeah, it took me, like, me a long time. There we time. go. And if you hit him, you then go into the next phase of the fight. This is oh. my final form! <laughs> well, it is his final form, but it is a different phase. So forms are when the boss actually yeah, changes like its changes. appearance. Yeah. Whereas a phase is, like, a method or a strategy of the battle. Attacks or, like, techniques the boss will undergo to make the battle different or more challenging in most cases. Ah! There we go. One health point left, and I beat him. Woo. His, his armor's piece. gone. His little pieces just fall to the floor. And now he's just a little mole. But you gotta smack him, because he'll try to hit you one last time. Oh. <laughs> he's like, wait, I still have a little oomph left. And then he apologizes, and it's like, I'm sorry. I was under the influence by greedy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's not good enough, Mr. Mole. And it's just like, yeah, you cry. I'm off to the next world. Woohoo! <laughs> Rise like, star. It's like, I'm going to leave you in tears. Okay, bye. Now, this next world, aesthetically, is actually one of my favorites. This is a really cool one. I know I've, like, in and out seen. You've the popped phases, in and like, watched me play you, yeah, played, the latter levels. I don't know if I know which one this is. As I've practiced. Yeah. This is Planet 4, which is called. Planet Sonata. Hmm. And instead of like being like element based, this is music themed. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Some games will give you the old grassland, desert land, beach yeah. land, bum da bum da bum da bum. Whereas others have like candy world or yeah. music world to like I really, ruin the rhythm. Yeah, I really. <laughs> <laughs> Go against. <laughs> thing. Um, I really like those types of world like world planning i guess yeah the aesthetics that yeah. kind of like break the norm and they're just cute like there's well, so much that you can nice do like he has the little is, metronome yeah the metronome when you give it to the birds they add to the background yeah. song and give it another layer to where by the end of this level we're gonna have a full song whereas at the start it just goes but even like the things he has to grab onto are like little trumpets and yep like he has to run across little piano keys and the harmonicas and yeah it's just really like cleverly done and there's a giant like clarinet right there mm -hmm. you know, on the bottom and like I'm swinging pipes. through flutes yeah like it's just really cute you know there's a lot you can do instead of like oh you're jumping from this block to another block but it also makes it more memorable because how many games have a grassland? How many games yeah. have we played already that have like a grassland yeah. or a water level? I Am Setsuna takes place in the entire winter. I know. <laughs> which I think in its own... This is own, Ice Cave with, 1, yeah, 2, and 3. Which in its own way is memorable because there aren't any other seasons. Like, it is winter. Yeah. So it's curious to know how many times it implements that. But there's not that many games. There are some but not that many that have a music-themed level. Yeah. So it makes Rise Star all the more memorable for that. Oh, crap. Go down the hole, please. No. Gotta be exact here. Do you need to go down the hole? There we go. Ooh, what to go down the hole? All right. Pop it through here. He's like, wait, I'll take that. <laughs> don't want the crane to get it because it yee, it'll take it back. <laughs> there we go. But you also don't want the metronome to get stolen by those, uh... By the little grabby. Yeah, the little grabby robots up there. Because then they'll go back earlier to the level and you have to get the metronome back. So yeah, this is what's considered an escort mission. 
So this is where you're like escorting an item or a character. The characters are worse. I'll okay. just tell you right now. You have yet I to experience like, I feel like one. I they would be because they could like wander away. But the characters are worse. Yes, they do that. Oh God. You have yet to experience it, but just take my word for it. You will cry and you'll be frustrated because you'll have to protect well, someone it's, it's like, what was that game and they'll we were, wander what away was the game? and enemies will be like, what was the game we were playing where it was like, it's the last story. Whenever you have to like run away from the guards. Oh yeah, and, and you can get she, caught, you, but also can, she can, she can, get, can caught. get caught. But she's not as fast as you are, so she's like getting caught left and right. Yeah. And I just kept dying and losing the level because she just kept getting herself caught. Yeah. And I have no control over her, so I can't like make her go faster. Right. That was annoying. <laughs> But no, there's a lot of instances where, like, you have to protect a character and guide it to the end, and, like, enemies will be like, I'm gonna make this miserable as shit. <laughs> and the character will just dawdle, and you'll be like, I'm going this way! And they're like, no. No, I don't uh, think we are. A uh, home is that way. Huh? Be careful with these guys. We want to take care of them. Before we bring the metronome. Yeah. I wish he could just, like, set it down instead of throwing it. Yeah. Unfortunately, I have to throw. Ooh, there we go. And don't... Ah, yeah, I did exactly see, that's what like, I didn't want to do. That's what I mean, is, like, that's a terrifying thing to do, because, like, you're, like... You have to get Jumping hurt. into the unknown. Come on. Grab it. Go. There we go. And there we go. The song is finished. Yay. Mini boss time. Ew. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember them. Yeah, this is the mini boss. Conductor bird. Cause like the pieces slowly fall off. Yep. And you gotta watch the timing. And position yourself. One down. <clears throat> and two to go. Two, two, two to go. Quack, quack, quack. By the way, if I just sound a little weird, I just got over a cold. Yeah, I was gonna say both, we both the last just got week, over a cold. Yeah, so this is like the, the lingering phase. We both kind of have like scratchy last last so minute. I'm just a little horse. <laughs> We're little ponies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little pony. Pony boy. Okay. But yeah, I noticed that because like every couple seconds I had to be like. <clears throat> yeah. Let me just sip my water right here. <sighs> I don't know what's worse, summer colds or like winter colds. Cause like summer colds, you're just like hot and miserable, and they're always yeah. like, take a warm bath, and you're like, it's 90 degrees, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to take a warm bath. I want to no, sit in you. an ice cube, like. Um, my vote's for winter. <laughs> but that's yeah. just because I hate winter a lot more than you do. Whereas I... you dislike summer. Yeah. Summer. I don't know, <laughs> like, I wish I could just be fall and spring, just all year. Well, I agree. One week of winter with like nice snowy scenes and like, Cold, and then like maybe one week of summer. Uh -huh. like, Show's heat. over. But yeah, I really hate being hot. All right, so we took care of him, and now it's on to the next level. More music, music goodness, musically goodness. Music, music goodness. No, I'm very much a sweater person. I think that's what it is. Oh, okay. I like wearing sweaters, and I can't wear sweaters in the summer. All right. And well, in the next part, me. we're gonna dance, dance. <laughs> Bring it on, Rystar. <laughs> He's got the idea. Foot um, tapping, snapping. I like it. He's there we it. go. All right, see you next time. Toodles.